guys, this is Steven with TechSteveHD.com. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to back up and restore your Samsung product with a program called Samsung Keys. Now, a lot of people don't know about Samsung's Keys, uh, but it's similar to iTunes and it allows you to back up and restore. The one thing I do like about it is that it's real fast and it actually backs up your apps and everything in record time. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to pull up the web browser here and what you want to do is go to samsung.com forward slash keys. If you put that in there, it'll actually select your country code automatically. So what you want to do is from Samsung keys is download which version you have. So in your Android device, there's a way you can find out which version you have in the about phone. So most people now have Android 4.0 or higher. So you're going to end up downloading uh, Samsung Keys 3. So let's go ahead and download that right now. Basically, when I edit this video, I'm going to cut through a lot of the downloading time. So this video is going to be a lot shorter for you. But pretty much you have to wait for it to finish through all the steps. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a moment. And let's go ahead and install the Keys program. Now, as you can see here, it's still downloading. And you can see some sample shots of what the install looked like. And it's going to go ahead and finish up this thing. Okay, now I got the keys software installed on my computer. Now it's asking you to connect device. So I'm going to plug this uh, into my Samsung's uh, Note. Okay, now I have the USB plugged in. Now since I'm emulating uh, Windows on, on an Apple computer, you want to go ahead and select this little file here. If not, your computer will automatically look for it. Okay, now it's connected to my device. It's looking for firmware, so if there's any new firmware available, it's gonna download it right there. And over here, it's gonna show the model that you have, your memory, and everything else. Okay, on here, it shows your device. You can click on here to see what music is installed in it, your photos installed in videos, and library, that's the files that's in your computer. So if you wanna drag some of those files over, that's how you would do it. Over here, you have sync. So you can synchronize with Outlook calendars. I don't have Outlook installed on this uh, device because I'm just using it for uh, certain videos. And this one and thing I really like about the Keys program, you can actually literally back up every part of your phone. Like I'm talking about contacts, your notes, messages, call logs, videos, music, photos, miscellaneous files, applications. Now the cool thing about the application is normally like on an Apple product, you would have to sync it to iTunes now, Android, you can sideload things by pretty much disabling some of the security protocols. And this actually backs up your apps and reinstall them for you automatically. And then over here, you have your alarms, your emails. Uh, one thing that I did when I did my original backup is it actually put all my Wi-Fi passwords and everything right back in. So I didn't have to really remember all any of that stuff. It put in my background, my screen locks and everything. So very, very easy program. So don't, normally what you would do is hit this backup file. And then that will create a backup for your computer. And then when you plug in your device to restore it, you would simply go here and it'll have a backup file right here in this drop down. And then you would go ahead and restore it from that file. So I do recommend you actually do this process every once in a while. And again, these are all the different features there. Now over here you have some tools. So we'll go into that real quick. Under files, you can see the model of your phone. Edit, nothing's in there. Views, nothing in there. And then you have emergency recovery in case your phone gets completely locked out. You can actually update your firmware, reinstall the drivers, and this is where you transfer from a non-Samsung device. So let's click on that and see what happens. So you download this program called Smart Switch. The great thing about Smart Switch, it actually will move your files from an Apple product, HTC, Blackberries, and it actually grabs all those files and put it in here so you can actually go ahead and do that. I'll make a video about that later. And then you have preferences. So this is where you can choose where you want to download your files. This shows all the different synchronization and if you have updates for your keys software. And then information, just basically so you can check for some updates, which version of keys you're using. And you have help just in case you get lost. So you can have these little how to's. There's my video on how to update and back up and restore your Samsung product right on your desktop computer. 
I hope you like it. Please give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also go to my website, which is techstevehd.com. On there, you're going to find all type of tech news, videos, and more. So again, thank you. Peace. Peace.